a World Environmental Day exhibition was held at the Maikoni Hospital compound last Wednesday. More details from Narima Ali. We can't stop breeding, but we can do something about the air we breed, was the team under which the Region 5 Health Department hosted its World Environmental Day 2019 activities last Wednesday. The activities kick-started with a parade on the road to capture the attention of passers-by and at the same time sensitizing the public on this year's team. The road parade was coupled with an exhibition that was hosted at the Mahaikoni Hospital where individuals were once again sensitized on several environmentally friendly practices. We deal with three different types of mosquito, that's the Culex, the Aedes and the Anopheles. But we mostly have Aedes and Culex. Readings will be done, so these are things that can hold water inside. This is a tire, this is a barrel from the house, you know you have your house and lead in to the barrel. What we normally advise you to do is so the water will go inside the barrel but not the mosquito. If you're not using it, what you can do is turn it down. Anything that water, you turn it down. Now the mosquito normally take three days before they start breeding. So if you're not using any container, just turn it down. Like how this one is turned down, you just turn it down. This is a uh, this is the abate. It's sun coated with temophos. We use it in the water to kill the mosquito larva. Can it be used in any type of water? No, not the water that you use on the inside. You don't throw it in that. Like anything you're drinking, only on the outside. Or if you have a black tank and you're not using the water, from there you can also have this inside because you know they have some holders to the side of the tank. They can also fly in there. Good morning to you. My name is Ms. Cummins, Environmental Health Officer from the from Region Number no. Five Health Department, and today um, we're dealing with waste management as a part of our exhibition, and we are exhibiting materials that are that has been used in our home. What we have here is used. We have used champagne bottles that was used to make floral as you can see here then we have new CDs that was used to uh, make a wall frame and a mirror we have um, tissue that was used to make a flower that we can use in our home and moving on we have um, this model is depicting a yard and as environmental health, we one of our main focus is lot inspection, and we we're seeing here this yard it's it's free from overgrowth. We've used popsicle stick to uh, make a model of a house, and moving on here we have this is an ex an example of a factory. As our team this year focuses on air pollution, and one of our major one of our major issues here in region 5 is pollutants coming from factories and so this is depicting um, smoke as we know smoke from factories uh, carbon monoxide sorry that emits from factories that is one of our major concern and also we've used um, boxes and cardboards to make this model and um, finally um, we have a wall decorate uh, wall decor made from straw and um, instead of of getting rid of waste in our homes we can use um, those waste materials and convert them to something um, usable in our homes so Understanding the different types of pollution and how it affects our health and environment will help us to take steps towards improving the air around us. Often we can't see it, but air pollution is everywhere. Narima Ali, Channel 8 News.